Edward's one of these idiots that says uh, you're also on steroids. <laughs> the more you eat healthy, uh, you're faster than metabolism. That's just a change of the carbohydrates and the calorie intake, which is great, and my strength is already going through the roof. I'm saying a walk with a good amount of uh, speed, but not running. I am eating around 450 grams of carbohydrates by noon. Titan Tuesday, today is uh, Titan check-ins. Yesterday and today for you private one-on-one -on -one guys. Uh, you are working with me, we are making sure you're on point. Here's the biggest things. What are you going to do if the gym is closed? How are you going to eat if the gym is closed? Uh, are you stressing out because the gym is closed? This is a great time for all of us um, to step back, analyze what's going on, understand that maybe we don't have a gym, so we're gonna have to train somewhat at home or just work on the nutrition. Here's the great thing. You guys are all Titan members, right? And what do I tell you every single time? I tell you Titans, the number one thing is nutrition. The number one thing is nutrition. And all of you right now, because the gym is closed, is freaking out when you should be just coming over here going, okay, what do I need to do for the nutrition to make it right and to get better? And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about nutrition first, and then we'll talk about the gyms and how to cre create the best gym, uh, home gym, or whatever you need to do outside of that. Um, so again, back to it. I gave you guys a list of uh, the top five important things about getting in shape or being in shape, and the number one thing was nutrition. So as we are on quarantine and lockdown, and we need to focus on the nutrition here, there's two aspects we can do here. I want you to focus on just the two things. I do not want you to think that you need to maintain. Let me just hold on to it. Let me just, let me just stay here for the next two to three weeks until I get better, uh, until the gym's open and I get back into it. No, no, no. Let's take this as an opportunity. Now, for you guys, this may be the first time that something this tragic has happened to you. Okay, so I've been doing this for 40 years, so I've had a lot of tragic stuff. Um, I've had both of my parents pass away. Uh, I've had best friends pass away. I've had um, times where I didn't have money. Um, and during all those times, uh, the heartbreak of losing my dog, uh, all those times, I didn't stop. I stayed with the foundation work. I never stopped. And it's the same thing. So this is just a metaphor for what's going on right now is to one of those kind of things. Now, a lot of you... I wish you didn't have those kind of traumas in your life, um, but that is life. Life does throw you this way. Life does knock you down. Life does, at times, pull you away from the gym. So a lot of you, a lot of you are, are freaked out that the gym's closed, but two years ago, you weren't going to the gym at all. So what does it matter? Right now, nutrition-wise, the two aspects I want you to go to is this. I want you to decide, am I going to slice up right now? Or am I going to get my metabolism working so well that when the gym does reopen, it's going to be working so fast because of the calorie intake that I'm taking that as soon as I start cutting again, boom, your body changes. So now this is what I'm doing. For me, technically, this came out a great time for me. This does nothing to me because of the fact that I was supposed to go off season, so this is just forcing me to stay less gym in the, uh, less gym time. Um, I'm lucky enough that I'm, I do have a home gym with basic equipment, squat rack and, and, and a bar, um, and that's all I really need. That's all you guys really need is a squat rack and a bar, and you guys can continue to train at home. Now, if you can, Edward's one of these idiots that says uh, you're also on steroids. Edward. Eh, Edward. If you could answer to the rest of the crowd how you can stay on steroids for 40 years, we would all love to hear that without side effects and not only being healthy and strong, um, but getting youthful and stronger as time goes on. So for you guys that are actually here and aren't snowflakes and hiding behind the computer and crying like little babies like Edward, for you others, we are going to get better today. We are going to... Uh, try to create something uh, beautiful for you nutrition wise and then figure out how we can do this with the training. So for all of you that were maintaining our calorie intake, uh, hopefully you guys are all on the Titan meal plan. I would at this point bump up the calories. 
wait a minute, we're going to go into a quarantine and less workout. Why would I bump up the calories? Well, again, calories is one of these things that is the beautiful thing about metabolism. Uh, the more you eat healthy, the more you eat healthy, uh, you're faster the metabolism. Okay, the slower and the less food you eat, your metabolism slows down to protect your body. So what we don't want to do right now, uh, for a majority of you guys that are powerlifting, getting ready for shows, trying to get strong, like right me, right now, I am trying to get to the strongest I've ever been in my life. Uh, I'm trying to get to 300 pounds again. Um, and so, and I haven't been 300 pounds since I was 30. So I want to get to about 305, 307. So my carbohydrates are up through the roof, protein is up. Um, and so I'm putting on a good 40 pounds well, right now. We just tried to calculate from this last diet down in the last two weeks, I'll put on 40 pounds. So, um, and that's just a change of the carbohydrates and the calorie intake, which is great. And my strength is already going through the roof. We're playing with weights. Now, that's what I want for you guys. I want you guys to make sure that you're on the right nutrition plan and the right calorie intake. But get on a nutrition plan that is adding calories into your plan. Um, I don't want you cutting back because you're not training. Again, this is for half of you. This is for the half that want to make the metabolism faster and also regroup. This is your off season. You're gonna be training less if you're training at all for the next couple weeks. Now, from what I understand from the Pentagon, uh, from the inside sources is that we are going to be shut down for a couple weeks here, um, possibly three. So during that time, I want you guys to kind of just take it easy when it comes to the training. Uh, go out for your walks. Uh, if you have a home gym or can order a bar and a squat rack, I would do so. Um, it's a good time. It's, you know, three to four weeks. And then it's always good to have that at home on days you don't feel like going to the gym and just want to work out at home. But again, let's take up those calories so we can make sure that we are still utilizing calories. Your body understands how to function with carbohydrates. So make sure to up the carbohydrates. Sorry, not the calories, the carbohydrates, which will up your calories. For your other half, you guys that are doing, um, that want to slice up, that want to get lean. Well, here's this is real easy for you now. Uh, the 30-day blitz, which is about the time that we're going to be uh, uh, at least close to the time that we're going to be shut down. The 30-day blitz over on the michaelhearn.com uh, or the 30-day shreds over on FitPlan. Both of my plans have fasting days in it, have a reduced calorie intake. Um, so that way, if you don't have a lot of food at home or you just have protein shakes and, and white fish and all that, uh, it's going to force you to really diet well and also um, portionalize out what you do have at home. Again, for everybody that's freaking out about shopping, Icon Meals will deliver the food right to your house so you don't have to go to stores. And I understand that they may change the store hours. And so those lines are going to get longer, store hours will get less, and that's going to be more frustrating. And all of this, everything I'm telling you today is something that we're going to try to release that stress. Um, because the biggest thing right now is stress because if you guys are stressed out and you guys are freaking out that's going to release cortisol so no matter what diet you're on so no matter how you're training no matter what you're doing you're not going to get better because you're releasing so much cortisol and I don't want that for you guys I want you guys to go okay um, for half of you that are trying to get stronger and bigger and get your metabolisms working I'm going to follow along with what Mike is doing uh, for the other half that want to get sliced and ripped during this time and stay uh, consistent and get ripped. All right, so we're just going to do the cardiovascular, mostly if the gyms are shut down. Um, and you're going to have time to do this because a majority of people are now working from homes, um, their homes. So you get to go out. If you don't have a piece of equipment, that would be the most expensive thing, a piece of equipment for cardio and stuff. And if you don't have that at home, don't worry. The roads are free. So you get to go out and just uh, do your little walk. Um, I'm saying a walk with a good amount of uh, speed, but not running. Uh, I would rather you guys on both of these plans, um, if you're trying to get size and stuff and just keep your metabolism moving forward and you want to go out for a walk, go for it. Don't go high heart rate. I'm talking about 120 to the most. For you that are doing the blitz, the 30-day blitz, that I'm okay with you getting your heart rate to about 140. Okay, but don't go above that. I don't want you out there running. 
Again, we are creating an art piece, and this is what the majority of society forgets about. When you're creating an art piece, or you're trying to get rid of fat, there's a smart way to train to do that. I mean, you guys have already discovered that. That's why you're over here trying to figure this stuff out with me. You've already figured that going 100%, taking all your food away, doesn't get you in shape. But doing it in a slow process where it's controlled and you're doing it smart does get you in shape. So going out and getting a heart rate of 160, 170 hit cardio is just going to tire you out. It's just going to fatigue you where I don't want that. I just want to burn the fat. I just want to do it simple and burn the fat. you ah, Yes, that was a sneeze. All right. So with that being said, your two plans and two options are uh, bring your calories up, your carbohydrates back into the nutrition plan, uh, go out and take some little bit of walks, um, and again, try to order a barbell if you can. If you can't, enjoy this time that your nutrition is on point. Trust me when you go back to training how fast your body will change. Now let me talk about the one thing I haven't talked about yet, and this is what everybody in the world is going to be saying. Uh, and the duck. Um, I'm okay with that comment. Yeah, I was okay yeah. with that comment. Right with I'm good with that one. I'm watching him, Who's that, Brett? I'm watching Brett, him. Brett, that was funny. Uh, give him a like, would you? I'm <laughs> watching you, Brett. <laughs> Keep an eye on him. He's funny. Hey, Mike Corona. Um, <laughs> we don't drink. Wow. Uh, so let's talk about the aspect about what about doing cardiovascular and, and aerobics and ab work and all that stuff at home. Um, dips and push-ups and exercises and also cut the calories <sighs> I'm gonna to try to p explain this the very best I can and again this is just me going are, are you are you trying to get in shape today um, or are you trying to work towards a goal in the future if uh, there's two ways to do this if, if mentally that is what you need right now then okay I'm not going to fight you on that. I'm going to let you go do that. I'm going to let you do your your three to five hundred ab crunches and your push ups and your dips at home and your your hip thrusts and all those kind of things as you're dieting. Um, and that's going to help you stay sane and it's going to help you get through this period of time, which I'm okay with because uh, it really does come down to whatever keeps you most sane, right? Uh, what keeps you most happy? What what keeps you happy around the family? Uh, those are the greatest things that we could possibly do. I agree with that. Um, the only reason I would say is think about, really think about, um, is what's going to happen after you get back to the gym in two to three weeks. How can we set you up for in two to three weeks to be the best you going into that process? Um, so that's the only reason I, I, I worry about you guys doing all this cardiovascular at home as you're trying to get in shape, uh, you're doing your nutrition or you're, you're in a deficit, but you're not doing any weight lifting, anything that's really um, substantial uh, to burning the calories. So you're just kind of fatiguing your body this next two to three weeks. Um, you're stressed out about the what's going on possibly, uh, you, the gym, the gym, the gym. This is stressing you out and you're gonna be working out harder and then so you got in the deficit of calories. You got these three negatives beating you down when it's the one time because of this so craziness this is the one time that i need you mentally strong and healthy instead of beat down so that's the only thing i really worry about you guys right now is doing that and i'm i guess for me i want to say as as a professional and as your trainer i am giving you permission to slow down now i'm giving you permission to relax a bit I'm giving you permission to go off season. I'm giving you permission to make sure the calories are coming up a bit and we stay on point. Um, things happen in life that are out of our hands that crush us uh, both mentally and physically. And these are one of those things that we could say metaphorically is happening. Um, and I want you guys to come out of this stronger, not beat down, okay? Um, so that's the only thing I worry about if you guys are starting to go psycho in the in the aerobics and all that stuff at home Okay, that's the only thing I worry about um, besides that if, if you got some dumbbells you got some weights my nine-week program For you guys that are eating your calories 
is the best thing for you to do. Do the basic exercises right now. If I told you you're doing 10 exercises, right now I would cut it back to five, hypothetically, on the program that you're doing. I would cut everything back a bit. Uh, that way in three weeks we're ready to go and we're ready to jump back into it when we have all of our equipment and society is sane again. Hopefully this helps you out today. Hopefully this gets you guys in, on the right path. Um, can you do some band workouts and, and curls and all those kind of things? Sure you can. Um, enjoy this period of time, but again, I recommend making sure your calories are back up if you're going to put on some size. Uh, follow along with me and the team. We are on the nine-week program. I am eating around 450 grams of carbohydrates by noon. Uh, um, so we are eating and enjoying this period of time. We're doing the basic exercises. Last week we only did uh, bench squat and deadlifts, uh, and we're doing it again this week. For everybody that uh, checked in with me, all my one-on-one -on -one clients, I am going to go over to the Titan check-in right now. I'm going to make sure that your programs are done up uh, and that you guys are moving forward. And then also, if you have questions, because I'm working with you one-on-one, -on -one, I can really tailor what we need to do uh, to move forward for the next couple of weeks to make sure you guys are doing okay, uh, to make sure everything's on point and we come out of this thing hyped and excited and ready for the next goal. All right? Much love, everybody.